Hi, pals. I am currently at the lighthouse, right over here, and I'm doing everything in my power to get on this island over here, which seems unreasonably far, but to my knowledge, the height compensates for the length better here than anywhere else. Uh, the next best candidate, I think, is a geyser that's over there, but um, if there was a way to get on the rock shelves up there uh, that was stable enough, because I think it'll be slippery on the top, but if you could get like a sticky spot, I think that'd be good enough. But for now, I'm using the lighthouse. So let me demonstrate how far I can get up on the lighthouse and where I've managed to go. So first, we want to climb up this rock here. Relatively simple. Jump over here. And then you can climb these stairs to get the last little bit of height. So this is about where we're going to be jumping from. I wish I could be up there, but to my knowledge, based on everything I've been able to see, uh, you can't make that. Based on that, we're going to attempt to jump from here. And the best way to do that is to use auto walk sprint and then jumping. So auto walk is the forward shift button on my computer, but basically it just means that I don't have to keep holding forward. It also guarantees that like if I accidentally let go of something or, or whatever, it'll just guarantee that I'm always going to be holding forward. And then if I tap sprint in the middle of that, I'll be sprinting and just be controlling with the mouse. This is for consistency's sake. It's not necessarily required, but uh, just a tip in case you want to do some work. So I'm going to do auto sprint. I messed up here. That's fine. Just unstuck and you're back up here. Try again. And so the trip begins. I aim in such a way where that little tree there is between my character's legs. I'm aiming for a little crevice here. I'm definitely not going to make it the first time, so let's speed through this and show the best result that I've gotten. Got it. So auto walk is doing a lot of work for me here. If I stop auto walking, I stop standing here. It's basically required that I'm walking forward here, even though my character is actually doing nothing. Uh, so I'm gonna stand here for a bit just to show the best places I can go from here, which is not terrifically a lot. But the fact of the matter is I'm on the island, quote unquote. So for, for example, if I turn, I just walk off. And uh, now that I'm no longer auto walking, the game's like, yeah, okay, you're kind of a fool we're doing that so now i'm holding forward here uh, so i'm right underneath this tree that's why i'm aiming for that tree uh the best would obviously be if we could get on top of this rock very unlikely though as you cannot see me climb either this rock face or this rock face uh, let me hold forward again it preserves angle in between drowning which is nice do this, get a little bit of movement this way. Not really a whole lot to do there. Go this way, not a whole lot to do here. Uh, an interesting thing to note is, unlike the water in Killamo Village, there is a massive invisible wall and in everything before that you will drown in. So there's no way to get underneath the water anywhere in this area either. Oh, that's fascinating. I did not actually realize I was inside of a rock. I should have figured with the weird glitching, but you know, it'd be what it'd be. Uh, so this is approximately where I'm at. Uh, I can't, I can't zoom out or anything like that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> um, the reason that I'm making this video primarily, in case you're wondering, is that I would like someone else to figure this out, or at least to help, uh, because it would be very neat to get on top of this little island here. Uh, for the time being now, I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope this little ledge will help you on your many travels.